Roger Federer is arguably the best tennis player ever and holds the record for the most consecutive weeks ranked as the number one tennis player in the world. So not only did he learn to improve to get to that point, but even once he was the best, he never stopped improving. In this video, I'll cover the strategy that Federer uses to never stagnate and always keep improving. But before I do, if you enjoy content like this, subscribe for more. Roger Federer was a natural talent and reached the pro level mainly due to his talent. But what stopped him from being one of the best in the world was that he couldn't control his emotions. After spending three years without a grand slam or being ranked number one. Even though he had the potential to, Federer decided to work on fixing his self-control, and over time he became one of the calmest players in the world, and won multiple grand slams and reached the number one spot because of it. But now the issue was staying on top, so he continued to try to find weaknesses in his game, and since he wasn't perfect, there was always an area to improve. And by doing this over and over and over, now he's considered the GOAT. So what's Federer's secret? The best thing I've done was question myself in the best of times. When things are going great, what more can I do? How much better can I become? How much harder can I train? If you're already the best in the world, it'd be difficult to figure out what area you should improve in, or even if you should improve at all. Or if you're an average athlete, it's still difficult to find out which areas you should improve in. Tell me if this sounds familiar. You're putting hours and hours and working overtime to improve, but you're still not improving, or at least improving at the rate that you want to. So what are you doing wrong? This is a case of working harder, not smarter. I see a lot of athletes that are working nonstop on their strengths, not realizing that their weaknesses are what's holding them back. So putting in more hours at practice isn't always the answer. You have to figure out what areas you need to improve in. And to do that, you need to stop and honestly evaluate yourself. What weaknesses are holding you back? For Federer early on in his career, it was his self-control. So if he would have focused only on improving his tennis skill, he wouldn't be where he is now. Instead, he found the area that was holding him back the most and decided to work on that. So figure out the areas that are your weakest then work consistently to develop those into a strength, then repeat the process. So what would this actually look like? After every competition or even training, analyze what you did well and what you could improve in. For the areas you need to improve in, write down the exercises or ways you can improve. Then in your individual and team trainings, be more intentional about working on your weaknesses. For example, if your backhand as a tennis player needs work, then spend extra long working on your backhand rather than just using your forehand over and over because that's your strength. I recommend doing this in practice, but once you become sufficient, you need to start doing this in competition to really test your ability. And if you constantly evaluate yourself, whether you're at your best or at your worst, you will experience nonstop rapid improvement. 